Hi guys, I'm back. So today I will be sharing a book that um, helped me that I wished I had found um, before I was thrust into the world of supervision or management. Um, this is The Making of a Manager by Julie Zhu, Zuo. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, it is a great book. So I don't want to do a super long review. I'm hoping this would take about three minutes, maximum five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read um, a part here that explains what a manager's job is. Okay, so here we go. Imagine that you decide to set up a lemonade stand because you love lemonade and think it could be a great business. In the beginning, what you need to do seems pretty clear. You go to the store and get yourself a knapsack full of lemons. You juice those lemons, dump any generous helping of sugar, and add water. You get a folding table and a lounge chair, a pitcher, a cooler, and some cups. You decorate a lovely chalk sign announcing your delicious offering and competitive pricing. And then, near a busy intersection, you set up shop and cheerfully ask if any passengers are thirsty. It's simple when it's just you. It's your hands that squeeze the lemons, your feet that trudged from the store to the kitchen to your stand, your arms that lug the pitcher and cooler. If the chalkboard handwriting looks sloppy, that's on you. If your lemonade is too sweet or sour, you have only yourself to blame. Nothing will get done unless you choose to do it. But great news. Beyonce drops an album and suddenly everyone is obsessed with lemonade. As soon as you sell a glass, 10 other people are crowded around your stand, eager for a gulp of that refreshing, nostalgic beverage. You can't help with, the, with demand, so you decide to enlist the help of your neighbors. Sorry, you can't keep up with demand, so you decide to enlist the help of your neighbors, Henry and Eliza. You'll pay them each a fair wage, and in exchange, they'll come work for you. Congrats, you're now a manager. Duh, you say, I hired them and I'm paying them money. I'm the CEO, I'm the honcho, I'm the boss. Of course, I'm a manager. Actually, you'd be a manager even, you, even if you didn't hire them or pay them. The management aspect has nothing to do with employment status and everything to do with the fact that you are no longer trying to get something done by yourself. With three pairs of hands and feet, you can make and sell lemonade so much faster. One of you can mix the drink while another collects payment. You can rotate shifts and keep the stand open for more hours. You might even have time to shop around for cheaper ingredients. At the same time, you're giving up some level of control. You won't get to make every decision anymore. When things go badly, it might not be because of anything you did. If Eliza forgets to add the sugar, you'll get a lot of puckered, unhappy customers. If Henry scowls, intimidates others, you'll get fewer people stopping by for a drink. You felt the trade-offs were worth it. Why? Because your goal is the same as when you started. You love lemonade and think it could be a great business. You believe more people should experience the wonders of your favorite drink. And with Eliza and Henry on board, you feel you're more likely to succeed. This is the crux of management. It is the belief that a team of people can achieve more than a single person going it alone. It is the realization that you don't have to do everything yourself. Be the best at everything yourself, or even know how to do everything yourself. Your job as a manager is to get better outcomes from a group of people working together. It's from this simple definition that everything else flows. So the, the um, subtitle or the title of that paragraph is the one-line definition of a manager's job, and that is to get better outcomes from a group of people working together. Um, it's, it's a great book. Um, what else? You guys can check it out yourself. Um, Google it and see um, the reviews on it and see if it's something that you'd like to pick up. Um, it's, it's a really great book. I read this very quickly. Bought it in March 2020 
and I still have it. Um, it's probably one of the books that I would also buy in digital format since I am trying to declutter right now and I'm um, trying to minimize the amount of um, hard copies that I have. I would definitely get this book in the digital for format just for my records or my collection. Um, so actually it's now been six minutes and 50 something seconds. So I think I will end this here. I don't want it to be too long. Again, I was actually hoping it would just be five minutes, but there you go, guys. Check this book out. Let me see. Um, is there something nice here that I could leave you with? Um, okay, really quickly. If you were to hike some distant mountains or sunbathe on a remote island for a few months, how much would your own manager need to step in to ensure that everything ran smoothly? If the answer is not much, then congratulations. You've got a great bench. So that's on page 184, building a great bench. Build a great bench. Think of great team. Is that what it's talking about? Anyway. Hmm. I mean, I have a lot of highlights. There's a lot of good points. Um, get it. It helped me. Um, for those who, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a supervisor, if you're a manager, if you're entering the workforce, just to understand um, what your manager's job is and what um, the team's job is, get this book and read it. Really great book. Okay, so bye guys. That's it for now. Till next time. Bye.